Sam, many, many congratulations. I know Ruben Rodriguez got man of the match, but I only had eyes for you in that category this evening. Incredible game. Well played. How do, you, how do you feel after it? Uh, yeah, very good. I mean, we started the game unbelievably well um, and set such a, an intensity and a, a level that we're used to um, day in, day out on the training ground, to be fair. Um, and to start a game against a team like that really well um, it gave us a great platform to to kind of put the performance in that we did. Um, we spoke after Saturday about we was a bit disappointed with the intensity that we brought, and uh, yeah, we kind of we got the intensity we really wanted in that game. Um, credit to them, they they gave us a, a tough test, and we probably wanted to play a little bit more football as the game went on. But sometimes when uh, when you've got nothing to lose like the opposition did later on they throw more bodies forward so it's a little bit tougher to build up but those opportunities when we did carry on the press um, throughout the second half gave us some great counter-attacking opportunities and we maybe could have had one or two more but they also could have had one or two at our end as well. Where has that intensity come from this season because it's it's a marked difference but all that work off the ball. Uh, it started the first day that he came in um, the gaffer was quite clear that he was very impressed with how we played in possession from last season. He'd obviously watched quite a bit of football and credit to the previous manager for that. Um, but the first things he spoke of when he came in was that we're not just a team that does it one way, we'll, we do it two, three, four, five, six different ways. And um, sometimes that means that if we don't have the ball, we press, we press and press and press and we get opportunities that way. And um, that work out of possession um, throughout pre-season and into the season has um, really proved dividends and shown tonight. How different is it for you in goal, having all of that going on in front of you and obviously you're involved a lot with the ball coming back and the switch of play and sometimes you switch from a goal kick? Yeah, it's, um, it's a little bit different. Um, it, it did take quite a bit of work in pre-season and the gaffer credit to him with Ryan and Tom. They sat down with me and we watched quite a bit and we spoke we spoke about quite a bit and we're working on it every day. It's not just something that we did for a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, you kind of, I'll get to sleep tonight and then I'll probably wake up about four o'clock because my mind scrambled. Because um, just psychologically, you're always in the game, especially the way that we play, the way that we defend. Um, you become an 11th player for the team and it's not a, 10 players, one goalie, it's 11 players. Is, is that more so your, your brain scrambled and things like that on big nights? Like, is, is it easier to get to sleep and digest it all when it's a slightly quieter game for yourself? And is by proxy and the opposite tonight more difficult on the sleep front? No, I get to sleep pretty well. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm an old guy now, so I get to sleep pretty well. But I wake up early and then I struggle to get back to sleep. Probably not, not about the game. Um, what I've found is it, it, it tends to be if I get a chance to watch the game back before I can go to sleep, I probably sleep in a little bit longer. You, you've watched the game and you kind of, when you're in it, you see it completely different to how it was when you are when you watch it back. Um, but yeah, the adrenaline will flow a little bit tonight. Um, got a nice drive back, which will help relax it a bit. But they're just great nights, aren't they? Um, the crowd did their part, they were fantastic. Um, and yeah, the atmosphere was great, so it, it's probably going to be a, a long one, but we'll, we'll enjoy it. It's what it's about, though, isn't it? Like these these kind of nights. We've all been there now in recent years where you were playing behind closed doors and it was it was dead in here. And and now these these kind of nights, it's just a, like it's an explosion of life. Yeah, we we literally we was watching the Marseille sporting game just before the before warm up, and they had obviously had no fans, and we were literally just saying how couple of years ago or 18 months ago that was uh, it's not a very nice feeling um, and then I was chatting to Steve Parkin before the game because I know him from Scunthorpe and he was talking about like the atmosphere today how it should be 10 12,000 he said like there's not many teams in League League two maybe some in League one that w won't get anywhere near that um, and that's credit to the fans that are here uh, they come out <laughs> wind, rain or shine, don't they? Um, and show their support and sometimes show their frustrations. Yeah. Um, but 
I'm hoping most of the time this season that we can give them a little bit back for what they give us. And for you personally, like you've been here a while now and in the team and out of the team, but how does it feel to be the guy who's in the team when they look as promising as they probably have done since dropping down internationally? It's football, isn't it? Like every single player in that team today has got pressure from underneath them. There's someone wanting their shirt and that happens and sometimes you're in the team, sometimes you're not. Um, I thought we had a very good chance the first season I was here. They had a good blend of experience and younger players and the league maybe wasn't as strong. Um, the, and then kind of, yeah, the, the, there's been a few strong teams in it the last couple of seasons, but we're looking in a really positive position this year. Um, it's great to be involved in it, but it's not just the 11 on the pitch you've seen today. G's come on after, what, 25 minutes, was it? 30 minutes, and he was superb. Um, and let's be frank, Jim was superb before he went off um, and has been very good this year. Um, so that just goes to show what we've got in the squad and not just in the team. Uh, you've got Cairo that come on for the last 10 minutes and did a, brand, a fantastic job of holding the ball up making right decisions late on where he's back to play at the edge of the area where everyone probably knows he wants to try and turn and get a shot off because he's a striker but he makes a great decision just to keep the ball wide and we keep the ball we keep them in their half um, and it's just a feeling around the squad so yeah I'm happy to be in it but we've got players throughout the throughout the whole squad that are pushing for that team that that opportunity and um, I think that's what brings the best out of everyone as well and if they honestly know that they've got a chance of playing as well, you've got the motivation and you've got the competition, and it's a great combination. Uh, it's only October, but not to go top of the league tonight. How does that feel? It's a nice feeling. Like you said, it's only October. We have to make sure we back up tonight's performance with another performance on Saturday. Um, and we keep playing the way we are, and hopefully it keeps us in a great position just going forward.